the Vaughn draws here. Just telling you what updates are coming to Procreate 5.4, which is coming out later this year. There's no planned release date, but Michael Shaw has given us the following updates. So first we're going to be getting brush libraries. Brush libraries will be introducing a different way to organize our brushes where we can store multiple brushes and back them up and share them. And we're also going to get an all new and improved Procreate brush library. We'll also get a way to search for our brushes so we can just jump to them whenever we want to. We'll also be getting brush synchronization with the cloud. So we'll be able to use our brush libraries on our iCloud and also share them with Procreate Dreams and we can manage them in the Files app. Beyond that, we'll be getting new brush settings in Brush Studio that create more precise control and new possibilities that have been discussed yet. We'll also be getting improvements to brush updating. Finally, I think the most important takeaway from this update is that Procreate says the main focus of the following major update will be bringing the new painting engine and file format to Procreate, which is the engine for Procreate Dreams. All of the effort they are putting in this year for selections and transform and Procreate Dream will bring them closer. They say they've also been working hard to make sure that the new painting engine is introduced to Procreate and that painting is amazing at every zoom level because if you don't know Procreate Dreams has an issue where if you paint at different zoom levels your drawings can become very blurry. They say the new engine and file format will allow us to add some highly requested features including undo history saved in the file like Procreate Dreams where you can keep undoing even if you exited your even if you exited your canvas um iCloud file synchronization layers larger than the canvas so you can draw off of the screen huge resolutions up to 1 million by 1 million pixels and more layers. And this will be great because we all know that the layer limit in Procreate really hampers the experience and it's something that you really generally only tend to come across in Procreate when you're using an art app on the iPad. I say this will be one of the biggest ever updates to Procreate. There's so much more that will now be possible and we'll share more on this release next year. It's been a long road, but we're really excited to give Procreate the love and care it deserves. And this is great to see because I feel like Procreate hasn't had a meaningful update since I really got into the iPad uh, family in like 2020 or 2019. So it's just been like we're waiting forever for some, some good updates. So I really hope this brings it to the next level. That's about it for the news. Have a good one.